Hey, welcome to the second episode of They Didn't Ask For It, but we made it and sent it to them anyways, otherwise known as... Today's project is an animatronic beanie for the Fupa King himself, each, each, each in, Ethan of H3H3, thanks to these fantastic user suggestions. You got a message. It's from Derek. Oh, I also forgot to mention that this is going to be a vaping beanie. We sort of took all the suggestions and shoved them together. So here's my bad beanie CAD model. Inside is about half of the CAD model. I haven't really messed with the smoke generation for the fake vaping. But we have a little mouth, a little Bluetooth speaker that we're just going to plug in with an audio cable, a fan that was going to blow the smoke out that we haven't figured out yet, and a battery pack that provides the batteries. The idea is to make it look kind of like this, like... It's me, a talking beanie! <coughs> and then it coughs and smoke flies out. I don't, what are we doing? Should we cut stuff? Does that mean it's laser time? I just remember we were out of wood. Or maybe we only had the big pieces left. Okay, we might get lucky. Oh, did I just hit you in the nuts? I pulled that jar out a little too fast. Sorry there, Cameraman John Jr. Or Senior? I don't know, what's less weird? Just not saying anything at all? <laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah, as long as we don't botch this, we're good. So good. Mm, nothing ever fits. Come here, Vent. Oh. oh, I just pushed it farther away. <laughs> See, even if this place was clean, I'd still have this problem. Can you get me the claw? The claw! Ah, yes. The van. Every time this happens, people always ask what it is, and I always answer them, but the problem is no one ever remembers. Why don't answer and why not people? That's, <laughs> that's the ventilation. On, and we're out, up. To the races. Some of these pieces came out pretty terrible, like this one. Not sure what's up with that. We could cut a new one, but we're not. I'm just gonna carve it out painlessly, painfully, painstakingly with an X-Acto knife. I'm gonna cut a new one. I'll be back in a second. Coming in hot. All right, coming in cold. Cool beans. So now we got to put it together, and um, don't know if it's gonna work. Which is the story of pretty much everything. Uh, if you want this, leave a comment. I'll just throw a stamp on it and mail it to you. I'll keep that over there on the ground. That way I won't lose it. This goes there. This goes there. This goes there. These go. Yeah. And we need some dowel. That's cool. We need some. We throw it there. Did you catch that? Thanks, John. You're real. You're you're the best. Man, do these shorts make my butt look fat? <laughs> nice. I put the dowel here somewhere. Oh, I threw it at you. Where did it go? Ah, whatever. I'll get another piece of dowel. Hey, I'll make you a deal. How about I'll keep doing this while you go get those two pieces over there? <laughs> I had a feeling you'd say no. Yeah! I can't get glue to come out. Oh, there goes. Oh. Hey, some glue came out. I should use that while I have it. Does this fupa make me look fat? Hey, kids, it's me, the inside of a talking beanie. Today, we're gonna make. A talking beanie. <laughs> What's the next step? Should we try the smog, the smoke now? Let's make some smoke. Yeah, I walked in and I'm pretty sure you try to get, like, why are your dirty clothes on the floor? Why are your dirty clothes on the floor? There's a tentacle on the couch. No, I don't agree. You're lucky your mom loves you because she's defending you. 
we got lots of nichrome wire. We're gonna try to make a like smoke effect to imitate vaping without using an actual vape because drugs are bad, okay? Right? You're supposed to nod with me. We're gonna take a piece of cotton. We're gonna wrap some nichrome wire around it. I just bought like a pack of different gauges because I don't really know what kind of thickness of wire we need. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. So let's just dip the cotton in some fog solution and then we're gonna just hook it up to a battery. Okay, we can try 12 volts. Do we want to be using fog juice? Is fog juice different? Is there too much water in fog juice or something? I don't really know where you're supposed to find glycerin in a grocery store. I don't know, I'm afraid to ask the employees. We found them in aisle three of a completely different store. General glycerin, and this is some weird hippie vegetable glycerin. Hey, it actually looks kind of good. We should see how much smoke we can make before she notices. Is that a good idea? Oh, hey, what's up? We have never seen a fire like this. Coming over that hillside, flames light up the sky. About to burn my house down. Burn your house down. I need to like burn this whole house down. Whoa, that was weird. We're at Make Ventura, local makerspace in Ventura. They didn't burn down and they have a laser and we gotta pick back up on this project. I actually grabbed it. I had to reorder the soundboard, the speaker, batteries. I had to order a bunch of new Arduinos. I have like nothing. This is actually really sad. I don't have any tools or any supplies anymore. So we basically have to steal from this place and then buy everything on Amazon and then wait a day or two. Hey Dave. Hey. How's it going? All right, walking in your, your line. No, it's okay. What we've got is a really bad animatronic beanie, skeleton. That's a Chevy pack. Business in the front, party in the back. It needs more, okay. So, cameraman John, sorry. Business in the front. That's also, this is, this whole thing is very annoying. Cameraman John animated, uh, like kind of sock puppet animations in After Effects to audio clips. We then took those audio clips, put them on this Adafruit sound effects board. Then I wrote some fancy Arduino code that takes his animations and plays them back on a servo. And then the Arduino triggers the sound effect. You know what? This works right now, good enough. So let's see if we can like put the whole thing together. I don't even have a computer, so we're gonna have to like remodel some of this stuff. I mean, I have it, but it's not set up because I don't have anywhere to set it up. I don't even have monitors anymore. All I have is the tower. Everything else is toast. We gotta figure out how to mount this here. It's laser time. Only problem is I have no idea how this thing works. There's this giant control panel. Oh, how convenient. How do you turn the laser on? Uh, main power on, uh, yeah, it should be. It should Is be it on. unplugged? We spent the past 30 minutes trying to get our laser part file onto the laser. Why did my house have to burn down? Uh, we got a flash drive. We have a DXF file generated from Fusion 360. And we import, and nothing happens. <laughs> so mad. I want to be a pouty child right now. What's this software called? Laser crap. <laughs> well, it's laser cad, but more like laser crap. What I would try is. Oh! It worked. I don't really know what I did differently. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. You're the best. Oh, I just realized I have no idea how to use this software. <laughs> I shouldn't have hung up on Paul quite yet. Do we just do what we always do? <laughs> just press buttons and see what happens. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That don't look right. Just kidding. <laughs> we don't give up that easily. <laughs> this is new. I feel a little guilty, but uh, 3D printing parts, pretty sweet. I'm a little scared of how people are gonna feel about this, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> okay, I gotta go to a mirror. <laughs> I think this looks good enough. <laughs> Ah. All right, kids, get ready to get educated. This is an Arduino Uno. This is an Adafruit soundboard. Cameraman John found some amazing clips of Ethan dying. 
I'm all right. Animated to the sounds inside of After Effects. Took those keyframes, stuck them on the Arduino, wrote some firmware that interpolates between them and moves the servo motor. The audio files are triggered on the soundboard from the Arduino, which plays on the Bluetooth speaker. The fan is continuously running because we're lazy. The smoke generation is connected to these wires, which then gets tapped to these big, scary lithium ion batteries. Did that explain anything? <laughs> all right, go to my blog if you want more detailed and code. You guys are good. <laughs> Let's go! Nobody cared. Nobody gave us reactions. We tried getting fake reactions. I hope you care, Ethan, because even my cat didn't care. If you've got a suggestion for that and ask for, but we made it to him anyways, leave it in the comments. And Ethan, I don't know how to get a hold of you. So if you want this beanie, I can't imagine you don't want this beanie. Let me know where to send it.